We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Francis Wangusi, who is Director General of the Communications Commission of Kenya, appointed to the position on the 21st of August 2012. The Communications Commission of Kenya is the regulatory authority for the communications sector in Kenya. Mr. Wangusi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you too. I'd like to start off by asking you, could you give me an overview of ICTs in Kenya? How have they helped the life of Kenyans? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the ICT landscape in Kenya, since the liberalization of the sector in 1998, uh, is comprised of uh, four mobile operators, um, about uh, 103 ISPs. Uh, we have also license categories like uh, application service providers where we have 111 uh, and content service providers we have given licenses to 168. We do also um, uh, license and regulate broadcasters. We have 103 uh, FM broadcasting stations, 14 TV stations on analog uh, transmission and we have now about 25 um, licenses that are on the digital platforms. Uh, in as far as uh, uh, the ICT uh, 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 services in Kenya are concerned, uh, we are having about uh, 31.8 million subscribers uh, with our latest statistics uh, on, the, on the mobile platforms. Uh, uh, currently, I think uh, we have uh, uh, almost 77.3 uh, percent penetration uh, with mobile services in the country. So we are not doing very badly. Um, uh, uh, however, our internet penetration is still low. We are having about uh, 11 million people who have um, who, are, who, are, who are direct subscription to internet and quite a host to about 17 million who, who actually um, uh, are users of the internet. Uh, well, from uh, the statistics that we produced um, uh, 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 last December, I think 47 out of 100 Kenyans can have access to the internet. And can I ask you, what challenges are you facing today with regards to ICTs? Yeah, we are having a host of challenges. Um, given that, uh, uh, first of all, uh, if I may say, that uh, uh, some of the transformations that we have received in the lives of Kenyans as a result of the application of ICTs um, include um, the economic, uh, social and cultural uh, transformations that we have had. In fact, economic-wise, uh, we have quite a number of applications that have emerged in Kenya uh, as a result of the presence of the ICT sector in the country. Um, uh, currently, financial inclusion is one of the, 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 the most advanced innovation we can say in as far as that sector is concerned. But we have other applications in uh, e-health, e-education, uh, 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 and even uh, it has influenced the political landscape. But even after having said that, uh, in our attempt to try and make Kenya a, homo a homogeneous and egalitarian society, uh, we have tried to use ICTs in a number of ways, but with it has come a number of challenges. Issues uh, pertaining to really penetration to all corners of the country has been a big challenge, ostensibly because of uh, some of the uh, factors like, uh, of course, the demographics of, uh, uh, of Kenya, uh, um, where we have one, one area of the country that is very concentrated, the other area is sparsely populated, but people keep uh, moving from one place to the other. Providing such services has been a big challenge. I think the highest challenge we, have, we, we, we are facing right now is to try and make sure that we have affordable services in the country. Um, we there are also issues of cyber security uh, and vandalism of uh, some of the networks in the country have been quite a, a, a bit of a big challenge. Of course, uh, the issue of literacy is also a challenge to us because uh, some of the services that are being introduced are a bit uh, complicated to the ordinary consumer and we need probably to do a little more to make sure that uh, really they optimize the usage of the services that are available in ICTs. We've talked a little bit about the challenges here, but what about the opportunities? What is Kenya's strategy to maximize the role of ICTs in socio-economic development in the country? Oh, quite a, quite, a, quite a number of opportunities have arisen. Just as I had said earlier, 
uh, we, we have now, we are using ICTs in ensuring that the whole society gets connected in terms of the socio-economic services. Uh, financial inclusion has been one of the things that uh, probably we are known of in terms of our ICT innovations. Uh, of course, um, uh, the health services in the country, um, uh, we are now uh, getting a wide application of ICT services in order to share the little health resources we have, including the doctors and so on and so forth. This is one of the areas that the society is reaping uh, greatly from the ICT services. Even the educational sector, we have had uh, opportunities arising in, uh, as a result of the ICT sector in connecting universities, colleges in Kenya, uh, through, for example, uh, one of the, the bodies like Kennet, which, which, which makes uh, uh, universities and colleges to share resources, which is an aspect that has greatly improved um, the educational services in Kenya. We have quite a host of the other things, like even climate change. Given that uh, Kenya itself as a country, most of its economic sectors are climate sensitive. We, uh, we, we, we really uh, use uh, uh, ICTs in trying to make sure that uh, we sensitize our people uh, on how and when they can be able to I mean, uh, uh, plant their crops and, uh, and so on and so forth. So I must say that uh, uh, ICTs have really transformed the lives of Kenyans. Politically, of course, uh, you know, we are one of the countries that very quickly moving into uh, making sure that uh, we apply ICTs in, t in, in terms of, uh, 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 you know, ensuring transparency in the political process. Voting, for example, using biometrics in order to be able to re register people for, um, I mean, as voters. And also generally, a number of ICT platforms are being used in Kenya to sensitize people on who could be the best leaders that they can be able to choose. Something that previously, you know, was not there. So uh, we, we used to probably uh, before then to just only use one single mouthpiece that was government controlled. Right now we have a host of platforms from broadcasting stations to the internet, to the use of the mobile platforms to be able to dis disseminate messages and so on and so forth. So all in all, I must say that ICT in, it, in itself has played a very big impact in the transformation of the people's lives. Well, that all sounds fabulous and very proactive and future thinking, and yes. I wish you the very best with that. Yes. And thank you very much indeed, Mr. Wangusi, for being with us today. Thank you very much. And thank you for being with us too.